The branch office was established to reach the African continent, to share the vision of Ellen White in the continent, to just help people to embrace Ellen White, to really contextualize her messages to the African continent. Ellen White probably is the most translated female writer uh, on religious matters. When we look at her writing, she played a very important role in the formation and founding of the Seventh-day Adventist Church because she was one of the three co-founders. She couldn't continue with, this, with school because of an accident she had. And she actually thought, I'm not going to survive, I'm going to die because of the accident she had that damaged her uh, nasal area. And we um, then get to know that uh, she recovered from that. And then as the church was growing in its infancy, then God gave her the gift of a, a prophecy. So it's not really about the person, but about what God himself wanted to do with that particular person, because she is just, was just a tool in God's hands. The branch office was opened in November 12, 2013. Um, the first director was Dr. Anna Galenietze, and the assistant was uh, Mrs. Mabel Owusu Entwi. We, we now have a new director, Dr. Supermoisi. It could have been anywhere in Africa, but since it's a branch office and AUA is a GC institution, so they established it in a GC institution. Other, all other branch offices are in GC institutions. So it was just best to have it here because it's a GC institution and serves the whole continent. Yeah, so I think that was the wisdom behind having it in AUA. So we are a library, first of all. We provide information services books, Ellen White books, Ellen White's critics, Ellen White's apologetics, church history, um, heritage, and also branch offices also have the letters and manuscripts of Ellen White, although now they are online, but we have like print copies uh, of those. And then we also collect and like acquire translations of Ellen White books in different languages in the African continent. Yeah, so we'd like to like have, see how the, the work is growing by collecting them and just putting in our collection. And some are even already online on our Ellen White Writings website. Yeah, so that's what we are still doing, but basically providing information services, helping people in research, organizing seminars, uh, Spirit of Prophecy seminars, and doing camp meetings. Yeah, all this to just share the vision of Ellen White. Uh, we have had conferences before, Spirit of Prophecy conferences uh, in AUA. We had one in 2016 with the theme, the Bible, the Spirit of Prophecy and the Church. And from that conference, a book was published with the same title. Um, another conference was also held in the Southern Africa Indian Ocean Division, um, SID, in collaboration with the research center there and the Publishing and Spirit of Prophecy Department. And another one also in the West and Central Africa Division. Yeah, at, it was held at Babcock University. So we've had those three so far. We are not only concerned with, uh, you know, keeping Ellen White materials here in the library. We are also in charge of the heritage of the church. So the plan that um, we have right now is to build a network with all the divisions and the research center, um, research centers rather that we have in the divisions and ensure that probably in each and every division, even in the local church, this trickles down to the local church, we have maybe a visitor center or a room where they can take their children to look at the history of the church and what sacrifices those people made which will be contextual, you know, to that uh, particular setting or terrain of the church, if you please. Um, right now, when you go to the GC, you will have the visitor center. 
you have a place there where you can actually trace and track the history of the church. And then secondly, as we network with them also, we would like for them to um, help us craft messages that will be contextual to the, to the you know, African, uh, uh, African terrain. Maybe let's say somebody said, but why do I have to read Ellen White? She's a white lady, she was there far away there. So how do we come to that uh, particular um, individual and address such questions that will come up uh, to us? So by networking with them, we know what the needs are. And when you know what the needs are, we then intelligently respond to the needs that are out there. You can contact us by sending us an email at eguebo at aua.sc.ke and you can also reach us on social media through our Facebook, um, Twitter and Instagram the same at eguebo aua e-g-w-e-b-o aua -E